What comes to mind when you think of getting fit? Diet and exercise, right? They pretty much come together. You don't really think about one without other. Like if you've decided you're going to go on a new a fitness routine or an exercise routine, you the first thing you think about is what diet are you going to go on? What diet am I going to go on? The purpose of this video is trying to create a distinction between diet and exercise. They're not the same thing. They don't need to go together, especially if your goal is to become more fit. In this video, we're going to talk about what being fit means or what fitness means, how diet and exercise separately can help you to obtain those goals and how they can together help you to obtain those goals and why. What do you think getting fit means? How would you define it? Some people have different definitions. Some people might say that getting fit is going on a walk every day, drinking green smoothies, and being at a moderate weight. Some people might think being fit is being able to do American Ninja Warrior tricks. It's up to the person to decide. But in this video, we'll say that fitness is a combination of physical, mental, and overall well-being. Three factors. There are two factors that um, create one, which is overall well-being. So the different components of physical fitness, of course, are your cardiovascular um, health and muscle strength and flexibility. Those are three big components of it. If you can't walk up a flight of stairs without needing to catch your breath at the top, if you can't uh, pick up a, a heavy box without hurting yourself or without overexerting yourself, and if you can't touch your toes, then I would say you need to work on your physical fitness a little bit. So you don't need to diet to be able to get up to the, the point of being able to do those things. So that shows how the distinction between the two. This is for physical fitness. And in the case of mental fitness, which would just be your ability to handle stressful situations or to uh, overcome negative thoughts and emotions and feelings and be able to be happy and enjoy you know, life. It's not... Fitness is not defined by your weight or the shape of your body. It's defined more by how you feel and what you can do. So dieting alone is, would not really uh, go a long way to help you to reach your fitness goals. How would dieting alone improve your cardio? It wouldn't if anything, depending on how long you've been dieting for it, it might actually worsen it because your body is well, it's not as physically fit as it could be as you're kind of starving it slowly over time. If you're not exercising and trying to increase your strength, dieting will actually weaken you, decrease your strength. And in regards to your ment mental fitness, your mental health, it usually doesn't improve it. It usually makes it more difficult to handle stressful situations, more difficult to be happy when you're hungry all the time. So ideally, you want to have more of a, of a balance, of course. You don't want to overeat or undereat or eat so much processed junk foods you would want to ideally maintain a regular uh, routine of physical activity to increase your fitness um, pay attention to your nutrition try to be mindful of what you're eating don't um, what's it called the seafood diet I see it and I eat it you know, like be, be, pay attention to what you're putting into your body try to avoid if your main goal is to increase your fitness try to avoid restrictive diets especially initially at the beginning of your fitness journey because it will make it harder in the long run to reach it and decrease your likelihood of actually attaining it if your diet starts out as majorly processed foods, it's really hard to completely cut those out and go to, to lean protein, vegetables, and whole grains. So make sure you're being reasonable and, and easy on yourself and changing your habits over time instead of sudden changes, which can be stressful. Yes, you want to make sure that you are prioritizing your physical and mental health. and. Dieting, especially restrictive and extreme dieting, usually sacrifices both of those things to obtain what is usually the goal is weight loss. So when you're dieting excessively, your sleep suffers. When you're dieting excessively, you're very stressed out. Um, you can wind up with nutrition deficiencies and start to neglect aspects of self-care because you kind of just only want food. You don't really care about anything else. It becomes difficult to care about anything else because you want food. So if you're trying to obtain a fitness goal, starting your fitness journey, I would highly recommend that you prioritize uh, physical exercise before everything else and let your diet, of course not completely let it go, but 
let it take more of a secondary role. It's something that goes on top of the exercise. The exercise is supposed to be something that goes on top of the dieting. Aim to do things like increase your strength, your cardio, and your flexibility. And you could do that however you might enjoy doing it the most. Any form of exercise is valid. Whatever you are more likely to stick to is what you should do. Don't let anyone tell you that you're doing the wrong form of exercise. Um, there is no wrong form, it's all the correct kind of exercise. So just stick to it and make it a sustainable habit that you look forward to doing. So yes, we want to make sure it is understood that diet is not the end all be all towards obtaining your fitness goals. It is a big part of it, of a lot of people's goals, but dieting itself won't get you to um, a state of, phys of fitness. If anything, if gone to an extreme, it will hinder your progress actually and set you, set you back. There's a lot of drawbacks to restrictive dieting, like the negative impact on your mental health. You could develop eating disorders like anorexia or binge eating because you are so restrictive that you feel like you have to make up for it by over overeating. And you can also have a yo-yo effect on your weight or even nu nutrition deficiencies. So it's very important to be reasonable and moderate with your dieting. Yes, you want to be balanced and work towards a sustainable and healthy approach. You don't want to do something that you know that you're not going to be able to keep doing, that you're looking forward to stopping. You want to try to do something that you are looking forward to continuing. It, it, that would be ideal, of course. The main takeaway points are prioritize exercise, don't overemphasize dieting, and make sure to choose a form of exercise that you enjoy. Make sure to try to be balanced, take it slow, take it one step at a time, and start your fitness journey now rather than later, even if it's just exercise. Uh, you don't have to worry about dieting at first. It's important to find what works best for you and be balanced and take all things into consideration, including your lifestyle. Okay, that's about all that we had to say today. Please subscribe, share, and leave comments what you on what you thought of the video or ask us any questions that you might have. We'd be happy to answer them. Mm -hmm. Keep doing what you're doing. Bye, keep doing what you're doing.